माई सेल्फ सतीश थलेंगे असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ सिविल इंजीनियरिंग वालचंद इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी सोलापुर इन टूडे सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू सी रिगार्डिंग द इन्वेंट्री कंट्रोल टेक्निक्स दैट इज द इकोनॉमिक ऑर्डरिंग क्वान्टिटी एट द एंड ऑफ द सेशन द ऑब्जर्वर विल बी एबल टू अप्लाई द इन्वेंट्री कंट्रोल टेक्निक लाइक इकोनॉमिक ऑर्डरिंग क्वान्टिटी फॉर द ओवरऑल मटेरियल मैनेजमेंट नो स्टार्टिंग विद द ओवरऑल मटेरियल एंड द मटेरियल कॉस्ट वी हैव टू फोकस वट इज द मटेरियल कॉस्ट इट्स अ कॉस्ट ऑफ मटेरियल यूज बाय द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन so amount which is been spent for the purchasing of the material it may be in the raw material form or it may be semi finished such kind of materials for which we have to go for the investment of the amount that is the cost associated with the material the material cost are of two types one is the direct material and the second one is the indirect material the direct material is a material which is going to be the internal part of the overall the finished good or you can say the end product this materials may be within the organization or it has been used or it has been purchased from the outside the organization also now what about the indirect materials the indirect materials are the materials which are associated for the manufacturing process but they are not going to be the internal part of the finished good for example as it was explained here the consumable stores the cotton waste oil lubricant now inventory cost what are the costs associated with the inventory in that the first they are pointing that is the ordering or you can say setup cost here the cost of ordering as associated with the purchasing of the material we have to go for the ordering in such a case we have to go for the overall the expenditure of amount for the purchasing one and the purchase material has to be get into the process so the overall setup which is required for the processing or manufacturing they are the cost that is called as a setup cost the setup cost are generally assumed to be the independent of the quantity ordered or you can say produced they are usually a uh, once setup which is required for the overall processing or you can say the manufacturing of the product second comes the purchase cost or you can say production cost it is the overall the cost which is required for the uh, overall getting the finishing of the or you can say processing of the overall the product in such a case it has been observed that in the larger manufacturing unit units like you can say it is a setup which is where there is a larger quantity of the manufacturing of the product or the units there there is a reduction of the production cost as the quantity is been larger that's why usually in the market we observe if we go in the wholesale if we go for the larger quantity of the purchasing of the finished goods in such a case they may go for the discounting okay and there are the many more factors if you are going to pay at the time of the purchase only again there will be some more additional discounts so discounts are offered for the purchase of the larger quantity and finally the unit cost of an item depends upon the quantity of produce or the you can say production now inventory holding cost or you can say the carrying cost the cost associated with the carrying or the holding of the goods or you can say inventory when they are in the stock form they are called as the cost like a carrying cost or the holding cost now what are the cost actually been observed in the in holding cost or the carrying cost are as follows the cost for the storage or you can say where there is the overall stock which is kept that go down for which is been of the rent form it in mean the rent form the cost is been considered secondly insurance again the inventory property tax on the items as well as on the inventories or you can the interest on the invested capital if you have taken the loan and we have gone for the investment in so far the interest is running on that is the overall holding cost one of the cost the depreciation cost of the inventory items and finally 
the transportation and the holding cost of the items there are somewhat many more points which are been considered in the overall the holding cost or you can say the carrying cost coming to the next economical ordering quantity which is the main important one of the technique for the overall inventory control or you can say material management the economical ordering quantity is a modeling technique in which we use to calculate the optimal quantity that can be purchased to minimize the cost of the carrying inventory cost as well as the purchasing cost so here the total ordering cost is equal to number of times the order is placed multiply by the per ordering cost that has to be known to us so the total ordering cost is nothing else the n into a this n into a is nothing else it's a overall and depend upon the ordering quantity q and the annual demand so n is equal to d by q so the total ordering cost is equal to d by q multiply by a let's see the example if annual demand of the unit is 2000 and the ordering quantity q is in the 400 quantity 500 quantity 1000 quantity and the 2000 quantity means the overall 2000 quantity has to be purchased but the ordering quantity is how much they are in the four ways that is of 400 500 1000 and the 2000 and the ordering cost is of rupees 150 per order and if the uh, if the holding cost of the overall the inventory is 2 rupees per unit okay so here we are now interested to see what is exactly the economical ordering quantity now here the, it is a slide which is showing you the overall the table with the annual demand that is 2000 and the ordering quantity as we have seen here they have in the four stages we are 400 500 1000 and the 2000 so we have placed the ordering quantity of 4000 so if we see if we go with the 400 quantity for one time so totally five time we have to go for the ordering of the 2000 quantity so the five number this it's what the number of orders means number of times we are going to place the order so here the point comes regarding the how much quantity we are going to purchase so based on this these are the quantity which has been declared 5 multiply by 150 it's a 750 so if we go for the overall five times the purchasing of the overall 2000 quantity it's costing 750 if we go with 500 it is costing 600 if we go for 1000 it is only costing 300 and if you are going to purchase 2000 quantity once it is costing only 150 so this is the overall graphical presentation of this overall table here there is a curve which is showing you the overall the a number of the times the order has been placed with the overall cost associated with that particular number of orders holding cost the total holding cost is obtained by multiplying the unit holding cost that is h by the average number of units or quantity i will say hold uh, held in the overall inventory so total holding cost is equal to average quantity multiplied by holding cost per unit so the total holding cost here the annual demand is 2000 the quantity of placing uh, purchasing the quantity are in the following way 400 500 1000 and 2000 the overall average quantity will be what 400 divided by 2 that is q by 2 that is 200 250 500 and 1000 holding cost per unit that is 2 rupees so 200 into 2 it's a 400 so total ho holding cost for the first quantity that is 400 is 400 when we represent this overall the values again in the graphical way your x axis is again the quantity and the y axis is the overall the cost we get the linear line uh, we'll see here so once here the quantity i'm showing you that once we are placing the 
ऑर्डर ऑफ हंड्रेड क्वान्टिटी टू हंड्रेड क्वान्टिटी फोर हंड्रेड क्वान्टिटी फाइव हंड्रेड क्वान्टिटी थाउजेंड एंड टू थाउजेंड सो फॉर दिस ओवरऑल क्वान्टिटी द टोटल ऑर्डरिंग कॉस्ट इज ऑफ थ्री थाउजेंड वन फिफ्टी सेवन फिफ्टी सिक्स हंड्रेड थ्री हंड्रेड एंड वन फिफ्टी एंड द होल्डिंग कॉस्ट इज ऑफ हंड्रेड टू हंड्रेड फोर हंड्रेड फाइव हंड्रेड थाउजेंड एंड टू थाउजेंड वैन वी मेक द समीशन ऑफ दिस टू वी विल गेट द टोटल इन्वेंट्री कॉस्ट दिस इज द टोटल इन्वेंट्री कॉस्ट एंड इफ यू ऑब्जर्व यर एट वॉट पॉइंट द बोथ द कर आर इंटरसेक्टिंग एट द फाइव हंड्रेड क्वान्टिटी दे आर इंटरसेक्टिंग सो यर द येलो कलर बैंड इज शोइंग यू एट फाइव हंड्रेड कॉस्ट इफ इट इज गोइंग दे आर इंटरसेक्टिंग एंड द टोटल ऑर्डरिंग कॉस्ट इज सिक्स हंड्रेड एंड द होल्डिंग कॉस्ट इज फाइव हंड्रेड द समेशन ऑफ दिस इज लेवन हंड्रेड एंड वी वैन वी ऑब्जर्व दिस लेवन हंड्रेड वैल्यू विथ ऑल द अब वैल्यूज एज वेल एज बिलो वैल्यूज इट्स अ मिनिमम वन सो दिस इज अ इंडिकेशन दैट द ओवरऑल द टोटल ordering economical ordering quantity is 500 where the holding cost will be of the 500 and the ordering cost will be of 600 so the total inventory cost will be of only 1100 so this is the overall the presentation of the uh, all the three curves that is holding cost curve ordering cost and the inventory cost so this is the formula which is going to guideline us for the finalize obtaining the op- economical ordering quantity so a point of the intersection is the point where we have to see that the total ordering cost is equal to the total holding cost so to- total hold- ordering cost is equal to holding cost the formula for the total ordering cost is d by q multiplied by a equal to q by 2 multiplied by h here the q star it has been mentioned which is the economical ordering quantity finally q is equal to square root of 2 into ad by h so this is the overall the formula for obtaining the economical ordering quantity so these are the references for today's session thank you